Okay, so let me try to explain what's going on here. Um, first of all, we have this thing called a dual dual slope generator, and that thing goes like this. <laughs> um, and um, it sends out like a trigger every time it goes up and down, up and down, right? Okay, that's that's what a slope generator does, and um, so what? Okay, this other thing, a second DSG dual slope generator, um, is slow poking. So what does it do? It goes like that. It it, it receives the first trigger, um, and it hasn't got down. It will not recognize the trigger. Un Is this right? I'm not sure. And then it gets the another trigger. N no, it can't be right. But anyway, um, wait. Let me do this again. So this is the f the the master trigger thing, okay? And the second one either goes like sort of like that. Oh, God, I, I'm not even sure if it's doing this. This is kind of like a hard sink. Yeah, and and then if it's slower, it'll go every, I think, third. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing confidence on this theory, but anyway, this is the kind of idea behind subdividing from one slope generator to another. What you do is you, you take the trigger, which is feeding into itself, out to in, and then um, that is simply feeding into the in of other slope generators and when they're slow and lazy um, they end up like only responding to second or every third etc so that's like a divide by n um, comparator comparator kind of thing and anyway that's what I'm using in the patch and let's see uh, so that's basically what's doing the sequence I think I had row a b c with of, of the sequencer and a is like what? Oh God! Oh yeah, A is speed. So basically, you know, we have all these little pots pointing in all kinds of directions, and and that sends out a CV which uh, slows it down, slows down. Okay, and then this is the pitch. Uh, yeah, I think it's the pitch, and that's just being tuned by ear. And um, the C was like the tail of an envelope and what how did I do that okay I think I took the output of one of these things and um, stuck it through god I can't draw this man um, okay so it's going like that maybe and then if I go through on if I feed it into like a into another DSG into not the trigger but the signal input uh, then uh, the output gets even slower, and that that slowness is being controlled by, by this one. Okay. So anyway, you can get uh, this decides the temporal aspect. This is the pitch. This is the envelope. Okay. And um, so that's that's how this whole funky little sequence is going. Um, it sounds chaotic, and it's supposed to be chaotic. But if you were to like record this into Ableton Live or something, and start dicing it up, you will get a, a real nice, magnificent thing going a groove you can extract grooves from this so that's the merit um, let's see what's the other thing oh, okay the other thing is like we have a sawtooth wave so that's not n that's like a sawtooth okay sawtooth goes to low pass high q woo, 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 okay that's that's my little cross here that I'm mousing <laughs> and Sorry, it's more like this. I think that's what it's more like. 24 dB, wow. And then um, this goes into RM, ring mod mark. And the carrier is uh, shrill pitched, I think 2 kilohertz or around that thing. And and that's, the, that's going through the, the VCA. And, and that gets all this stuff and when you when you mess around with these things um, you get a formant so that's the trick 
Okay, people, happy patching.